In this presentation we're going to look at the McNemer test and it is a test used on paired nominal data and it's applied to 2 by 2 contingency tables or the dichotomous trade. This is a sort of formal definition, I'll come to the proper sort of short version in a second, with matched pairs of subjects to determine whether or not the row and column marginal frequencies are equal, that's to say that there is marginal homogeneity. But that's a bit tough to uh, take in. So essentially what we have here is binary outcomes, success and failure. This is like the binomial distribution, success and failure, positive, negative, yes, no, true, false. Okay, so that's all we have to sort of binary outcomes. Uh, there's also, uh, we'll also look at it on the basis of before and after because quite often this test is used in medical data. And is there a significant difference between, between before and after in terms of, in terms, sorry, of success rates? Okay, so the success rate before and the success rate after is is it the is there a significant difference? Now this is different from the uh, ordinary proportions test because the populations are not independent in this case. So uh, the test is applied to a two by two contingency table which tabulates the outcome on n subjects. So so we have test one. This will be our before, okay, and positive or negative, okay. Um, or a success or failure, so bef before success, after success. And we have test two, which is our after uh, after uh, situation. And test two positive, test two negative, okay? And we have the um, frequency, marginal frequencies there, A plus B, that the test one positive. And that comprises the test two positive and test two negative uh, components there A and B. Likewise the test 1 negative is test 2 positive, test 2 negative and so on. So essentially it's the, these little uh, freak, uh, marginal frequencies are the important thing here. Okay so uh, the null hypothesis of marginal homogeneity states that the marginal two marginal probabilities for each outcome are the same. So PA plus PB equals PA plus PC. So what does that mean? Essentially it means, uh, well P is just a proportion, so it's just these numbers divided by N. Uh, the test 2 positive, that's A plus C, okay, uh, is equal to the test 1 positive A plus B, or vice versa actually. So test the positive rate for test 1 positive is equal to the uh, positive rate for test 2, okay. A plus B equals A. Oh, uh, equals A plus C. Okay, so it's er everything that's highlighted there, the marginal uh, probabilities there. It's also, you can sort of look at it from the point of view of the negative, but we won't do that. We'll just like to keep it in terms of the positive. Now, so A plus B is equal to A plus C, or you can actually boil that down. Does B equal C? Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, that's the other one there as well. We won't bother with that one. So, it is the uh, PB equals PC, is it like the, it's just B divided by N, and is that equal to C divided by N, yes or no? Uh, the null hypothesis is that they are equal to each other, the alternative hypothesis is that they are not equal to each other. So, that's the test statistic without correction. There's a, there's a sort of a little sort of correction procedure you can do that the R will do automatically. You can turn it off, so if you're doing it by pen and paper you're probably using this procedure here, or this, uh, so it's chi-squared. It's very similar to a chi-squared test. Uh, it's actually just, it actually cuts out a lot of the, um, it's just a very much sped up version of the chi-squared test, so it's actually a bit simpler than the chi-squared test. So, uh, the command is the McNemer test. Actually, sorry, what I'm going with this is actually this slide is, let's look, have a look at the help file. So let's bring up R. So help, or question mark, or let's do that again actually. Uh, McNemer, this is the other way of calling up the help file. Help McNemer. Now, I actually have this up already. There we go, McNemer chi-score test. So it's a, as, essentially it is a chi-score test for count data. Uh, chi-score test for symmetry of row and columns in two-dimensional contingency table. So essentially what we are going to do is provide, so the McNemer test, x equals, okay. Uh, essentially what it does is provide this, uh, well, we won't bother with the y uh, input there, which is x, and also that correct equals true, that's the default setting. That is to apply continuity correction later on. 
Uh, I'm gonna uh, do it uh, correct equals true for the time being. Just leave it alone. But just to sort of show how it matches up with the pen and paper calculation, I'll turn it off. Now, what do we do? How do we run this test? So that's the outputs there. Okay. So this is Alan Agresti categorical data analysis. This is an example he uses. Okay. Okay. So what he does here, actually, actually, do you know what? I'll build this up. He, this is from the help file, so you can actually just open up the help file yourself and take this out and look at it. And I'm going to just run it here. Oops. So, uh, this is just the sort of aggressive the estimate of the book. Presidential approval ratings. Uh, approval of the president's performance in two surveys, one month apart, so before and after, from a sample of 1,600 voting age Americans. Okay. So, he's, this is the table we're asked to set up. Okay. Uh, 794 approvals. Um, 150... 86 approved, uh, disapproved in the first survey, but by the time the second survey came around, 86, and so on. So what you do, what you have to do here is actually to for R, this is what you probably would look like <coughs> seeing a book. Sorry, just coughing there. Um, so, but what we got to do is set this up as a matrix. Okay, so I have a named matrix here. This is dim name. Um, and it puts all these um, first survey, second survey, it puts all this uh, d um, metadata on the side. But essentially, all we really need here is this little matrix. Now, just remember when you're building the matrix, just to make sure that the rows and columns go in properly. Okay. Now, so um, what do you do here? So we have, oh actually sorry, let's look at that again, performance. This is a nice little command here. There we go, and add margins performance. Uh, maybe it's add margin. Uh, sorry, this is sort of, shouldn't have done that now. And Ah, oh, golly, what is it? Regret doing that now. Apropos, uh, Arjun. Add margins, sorry, no dot in it. So it is add margins, performance. There we go. So put in, is there, yeah, there we have it then, the 1600. Okay. So. Uh, so that's the uh, the frequency, the marginal frequencies for this two by two table. So what do we do here? Uh, Mac Niemer test, and it is U.S. presidential performance. There we go. So it's a simple enough procedure. Mac Niemer chi squared test with continuity correction. Essentially all we're doing is reading the p-value and the p-value is uh, really, really, really small. Now just remember that the null hypothesis here is uh, the same before and after, okay? So the, the, the approval rating uh, before and after, actually let's take that out. The approval rating before and after is the same and if we look at it again, add margins performance. So uh, in the first survey, he had 944 out of 1600. In the second survey, he dropped, or well, it's obviously he was, hasn't been a she yet, 880 out of 1600. Okay, so there's a bit of a drop there in approval ratings. Okay, so the performance, the uh, the uh, the success rate in here, that's the approval rate, uh, is not the same uh, between the two surveys before and after. Okay, that is the uh, the McNemer test. Uh, let's just actually have a quick look at the uh, the other example that is in the the um, here. This is actually just like I got from Wikipedia, so it's very similar. Uh, okay, so in this example, this is from Wikipedia. 
A researcher attempts to determine if a drug has an effect on a particular disease. So what we have here is disease present or absent before and after. Okay. So before, present, after, present, uh, before, absent, after, absent, and so on. So we have 314 patients. Now, so before, there is 222 uh, patients with this uh, disease present, and after, it is 160. Okay. So the test is to determine is the rate of proportion, the, the, the proportion of success or presentness or presence here the same. Okay, so in this case if you do it by pen and paper you get a test statistic of 2135. Okay, and that is a very small, would lead to a very small p-value and so that thus the test provides strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis of no treatment effect. Okay. But let's do that with R. Now what I'm going to do something here is very similar. I'm going to set up that table again. And I'm going to call this effects. Like we had performance previously. I'm going to set this up. Uh, this, is, By the way, I'm using very similar code to what's in the help file from the help file for macnemer.test. Okay. So this is effect. Okay. Okay, so add margins effect. So that does this look exactly? Yeah, that looks exactly like what we should have in uh, the. Let's just say now. Let's double check. I have it right. No, I don't have it right. I should have. I'm going to do it again here. I'm just going to use a script here. And what has happened there is I've not put in my matrix properly. So it should be 59. Then 1, 2, 1. There we go. Just remember that in R, matrix, matrices are filled in by column. Okay. So let's just try that again. Now, add margins. Yeah, properly done. Okay, now, so that's correct. Now, and let's just see how we get on with the McNemer test. So, effects, there we go chi-squared, very small p-value there, okay, just a, a corroborate what we got before. Now it has the width continuity correction, so if you're doing it by pen and paper you wouldn't get that. But So the chi-squared uh, test statistics is a little bit different here. Let's just try it out with uh, the correction turned off. So you go correct equals false, all capitals there. 21356 is that what we get? Something similar there? Yeah. That would be very sim similar to the pen and paper calculation. Alright, that's the McNemer test uh, with continuity correction and a couple of little mistakes on my part, but no matter. Okay, bye-bye.